The final section that we will be covering are things that help the enzymes do, it, do their jobs. These are called cofactors or also called coenzymes. They assist the enzymes in doing the catalytic activity and speeding up the reaction itself. A metal ion, for instance, could bond to the protein of the enzyme and then make it go a little faster. So it's an enzyme and the metal ion is the cofactor. Another cofactor is the organic molecule. These are called coenzymes. So metal ions are just cofactors. Organic molecules that bind to it are coenzymes and cofactors. They're called both. And once again, it helps to improve the catalytic activity of the enzyme. These metals, for instance, all bind to different enzymes to make them function better. For instance, put zinc onto a specific enzyme and for instance carbonic anhydrase, if we put zinc on it, it would make this reaction occur faster. Water soluble vitamins are an example of a coenzyme is a cofactor that's an organic compound, and they're essential for normal health and growth. Remember before when we talked about essential amines, we used the word essential for something that had to be digested. Our bodies do not produce it, so we have to consume it in our foods or some kind of vitamin supplement somehow. These are soluble because they have OH and a car carboxylic acid groups. Because of the electronegativities of those oxygens, it's gon they're going to interact with the water with aqueous solutions. They act as cofactors for enzymes and they're not stored in the body and are easily destroyed so you have to consume them on a regular basis. These are some examples of the water soluble vitamins. They bond to the enzyme, creating a coenzyme. The metals were just cofactors. The vitamins are coenzymes and or cofactors. And then they help them, they help the enzyme do their job, the function that they are supposed to be doing. Vitamin C. That soluble vitamins are another example of something that you have to consume. However, these are not enzymes, they're not coenzymes. But they do but they are important for healthy living. For instance, they help with the vision, they help with the bone formation, and they're soluble in lipids, which is why they're called fat soluble and not water soluble. These are nonpolar compounds. Therefore, they have to dissolve in a nonpolar substance, which would be the lipids. Aqueous, however, is polar. They have a positive and negative side, so they're not going to dissolve in those. And these, unlike the water-soluble ones, are stored in the body. Here's a list of fat-soluble vitamins. And you notice that they do not bond to an enzyme, so they're not actually coenzymes, but they are important for health. For instance, vitamin E is an antioxidant. Vitamin A helps with vision. So let's take a closer look at vitamin A. It's derived from, here's retinol, this is vitamin A. That helps synthesize it in the body. It's fat soluble and it's stored in the body and is not eliminated. They won't, it won't be destroyed. So the more you eat, the better off you'll be and it won't break down. That is the end of chapter 16 for proteins.